of Ukraine. Vlad Volodymyr Zelensky says that a phone call that he's had with Chinese President Xi Jinping will give powerful impetus to the development of bilateral relations. It was the first call between the leaders since Russia's invasion of Ukraine last year. And it might lend some weight to China's peace plan for the conflict. China's efforts at brokering peace were welcomed by Foreign Minister of EU member Hungary today in an exclusive interview with CNA. Peter Siato spoke with CNA's Ateli Edwards about Beijing's attempts to play peacemaker. When it comes to the peace plan of the Chinese, we respect it because it's about peace and it exists. You know, we need peace plan uh, to exist. We need a peace plan to be on the table uh, as a basis for negotiation. Therefore, we respect the Chinese government to put together such a plan and put uh, on the table. And we support that discussion about peace plans should be finally started because that brings us closer to peace. When it comes to uh, EU-China relations, you know, we are absolutely against decoupling. Mm -hmm. We are in favor of connectivity. We are in favor of a rational, pragmatic and uh, respect-based cooperation with China. Because if you break the relationship between China and the European Union, you cause huge damage to the European economy. Because European economy is dependent on the Chinese economy on many uh, yes. industries and many areas. There's more than 870 billion euros of trade between the European Union member states and China. So decoupling would be a very bad absolutely. idea. Absolutely. And not to mention that China was actually your largest investor in uh, 2022. And clearly yeah, your absolutely. country has you know, benefited a lot from these investments. Oh, absolutely. Um, so let's say, you know, um, um, you know, when Emmanuel Macron, he made those um, statements that basically drew criticisms, um, talking about, you know, that Europe should not follow US or China's uh, policy on Taiwan. I'm wondering what is Hungary's stand on this issue of Taiwan in the event of a conflict? Well, first of all, when it comes to President Macron, I think uh, his statements about the strategic autonomy of uh, Europe uh, are refreshing, are refreshing. So it's great that he speaks about uh, cooperation between uh, China and uh, uh, Europe. We do not want neither the European Union nor the NATO to become an anti-China bloc because that would be really bad. Now, when it comes to our relationship to China, uh, it is very clear that we follow the one China principle. Right. So, well, with, you know, this ongoing deepening um, Sino-Hungarian ties, are you worried that, you know, this may pose further challenges to the whole EU unity uh, on China, especially now that, you know, relations, Hungary's relations with EU is kind of like deteriorating? Look, I, I, have, I don't feel such a threat because, you know, the Chinese companies are respected investors in Hungary. They do contribute to not only uh, the Hungary economy to be on a growth path, but to the European economy to be on a growth path as well. Why? Because these Chinese um, um, investors aim at uh, producing electric batteries for the electric cars, which are being produced by the Western European companies. So these Western European companies, which are producing electric cars in Hungary, they usually ask me to bring their Chinese suppliers close to them, possibly next door, uh, into Hungary. And, you know, I've been um, in, in touch with the Chinese uh, investors for the last nine years, and there was not a single occasion when a Chinese investor or the Chinese state itself would have attached any kind of political expectation uh, to an investment. So it's a purely rational, mutually beneficial economic cooperation, which we respect a lot. And, and, and I do believe that our good relationship with China on, on uh, investments contribute to the success of the European economy as well. Oteli also addressed the war in Ukraine with the foreign minister and asked where Hungary stands on the conflict. Mr. Siato called for an immediate ceasefire, conveying Hungary's neutrality. We are a neighboring country. So uh, the uh, war in Ukraine has uh, severe and immediate impacts on us. And furthermore, it is not widely known, but uh, there are Hungarian people dying in this war. Mm -hmm. Given the fact that we have a significant Hungarian community living in the western part of Ukraine, some 150,000 uh, Hungarians, of course, they are members, they are um, uh, citizens of Ukraine, so uh, they are being uh, mobilized to the Ukrainian army. Many of them are being deployed to the front lines and unfortunately many of them are dying. So we as a country being severely affected and representing a nation, uh, members of which are dying, we call for peace 
uh, very uh, loudly and in a very determined way. We condemn the war, no question. We do condemn the war. We have been condemning the war from the very beginning. We stand by the um, stand up for the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine. But we do believe that the best way to save lives or the only way to save lives is to uh, come to an immediate ceasefire and immediately to start discussion about how to make a long term peace agreement uh, in uh, the region. I think or we think that the most important duty of international community now should be to save the lives of the people. There are hundreds or thousands right. of people dying on, on, on a daily basis, totally senseless. Yeah. And we have to stop that. Mm. And, and you cannot stop it with further deliveries of weapons. You can mm. stop it with an immediate ceasefire and then peace talks.